We started a new day with plans of visiting Jalana Leopard Reserve. Jilana Leopard Reserve is an urban jungle, situated inside the city limits of Jaipur. It was once the hunting grounds of the royal family. Overlooking the city, mountains, and greenery, the hunting lodges still stands as a memorial of royal Rajput reign. This ecosystem, which spreads around 20 square kilometers, homes more than 30 leopards, numerous species of birds, and other wild animals like spotted deer, fox, blue bull, striped hyena and so on. Once, Bengal tigers too lived in this reserve, which was then well connected with other forest strips in the state. While many places across the globe is undergoing deforestation, Jalana stands as a perfect example for how nature can thrive, if supplemented by human efforts. Here, the concrete jungles fades away into the greenery of the reserve forest. We were able to sight few leopards, and other wildlife during three different game tries inside the reserve. Jalana have been one of my favorite wildlife destinations, for the reason how effectively, the urban canopy is protected inside a city with 3 million population. We decided to visit the heritage monument, Chantha Mantha, and started our journey through Java Halal Nehru Math. Pink color scheme dominates the buildings and even compound walls inside the city. The efforts put in by Jaipur Development Authority, in keeping the city clean and green is really appreciable. The area has all amenities like hospitals, schools, colleges and is hub of shopping, cinema and hotels. The area is filled with hospital complexes and educational institutions. People from suburbs of the city, and other parts of the state, travel to these hospitals, for better medical facilities in the state. Soon, we entered the road, which leads to Hawa Mahal area. The buildings which were illuminated during last night, was busy with its daily business and related routines. The entire buildings follow the single color scheme of pink, with names of establishments written in black, on white separated portions. The city parts still follows the unique color scheme introduced in 1876, to welcome the Prince of Wales and Queen Victoria. Jaipur during the time was ruled by Maharaja Sawai Ram Singh, who passed a law, which instructed that buildings and houses in the city to be painted in pink, which is still followed. Jaipur promotes the use of electric vehicles, which includes passenger rickshaws to safari vans used for game drives inside Jilana Reserve. These rickshaws serves as shared means of commutation for local crowd.
the cab driver took us to the junction near Haramahal, and we started following the signboards leading to Chanthamantha. On our way was the historical gate named, Tripolia Gate, which was constructed in 1934, and was once the main entrance to the palace complex. It is an important landmark of the Tripolia Bazaar. Tall walls separated Chanthamantha from the streets. Chanthamantha is a collection of 19 architectural astronomic instruments, built by the Rajput king, Sawai Jai Singh II, who was the founder of Jaipur. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, which features the world's largest stone sundial, was completed in 1734. The instruments allow the observation of astronomical positions with the naked eye. This instrument named Samrat Yantra, is a sundial, that can give the time to an accuracy of 2 seconds. The instrument measures a height of 90 feet with a base length of 147 feet. The essential parts of the Samrat Yantra are, the Nomon, a triangular wall with its hypotenuse parallel to Earth's axis, and a pair of quadrants on either side, lying parallel to the plane of the equator. As the sun passes from east to west, the shadows of the gnomon falls on the scale of the quadrant, indicating local time. We moved ahead to the nearby installation, which is a collection of miniature structures. These instruments named, Ray was used for measuring the latitude and longitude of celestial bodies. There are 12 instruments, which represents the 12 signs of zodiac. These 12 instruments act together, and therefore, it is considered as a single instrument which covers the entire ecliptic. Even though instruments resembles the Samrat Yantra, they differ with each other in shape, size and angle of Nomon.
The instrument named Jayprakash Yantra, is an elaborate and complex instrument. It is a bowl-shaped instrument, built partly above and partly below ground level. The diameter at the rim of the bowl is 17.5 feet. The interior surface is divided into segments, and recessed steps between the segments provide access for the observers. A map of the visible heavens is inscribed on the inner surface of the bowl, with additional scales around the rim. It is based upon the concept stating to as early as 300 BC, when the Greco-Babylonian astronomer, Berossus is said to have made a hemispherical sundial. A small ring is suspended from cross wires, which as shadow projects the position of the sun onto the inscribed celestial map. The plate serves as a sighting device for night observations, and casts an easily identifiable shadow on the interior surface of the bowl for solar observations. The Nadeva Lyre is an equinoctial sundial, with circular surfaces, oriented parallel to the equatorial plane. One surface faces north and the other faces south. A metal pin projecting from the center of the surface, parallel to Earth's axis, is used to case a shadow on the circular surface. The Chakra Yantra, is a pair of upright metal circles, which stands between a pair of hemisphere, lowered into the ground in front and behind them. It was used for finding the right ascension and declination of a planet, or other celestial body, observed at night. The Ram Yantra consists of a pair of cylindrical structures, open to the sky, each with a pillar at the center. The pillar and walls are of equal height, which is also equal to the radius of the structure. The floor and interior surface of the walls are inscribed with scales indicating angles of altitude and azimuth. Digamsa Yantra is a cylindrical instrument, used to determine the azimuth of a celestial object. It consists of two cylindrical walls surrounding a central pillar. Its central pillar, as well as its walls, are engraved in degrees and minutes at their top surfaces. The Jhantha Mantha gives an insight about medieval astronomy. The monument is an exemplification of architectural innovations, that was built on ideas from different religious and social beliefs, in the 18th century India. This UNESCO heritage site is open to visitors from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. We headed to the streets of the Pink City, to purchase some traditional Rajasthani merchandise with artworks for which the city is famous for. As my visit to Jaipur was during the election period, there were road shows being conducted by political parties in the state. 
hundreds of members were participating in such rallies, and candidates were seen seeking blessings and votes from the public. On the way was Albert Hall Museum, which is the oldest museum of the state and functions as the State Museum of Rajasthan. It is also called Government Central Museum. This fort named, Motti Doondry Fort, is a small palace which is an imitation of a Scottish castle. Close to the fort, is the Bela Mandir, which is a Hindu temple built by BM Bela Foundation in 1988, constructed solely of white marble. The area homes the University of Rajasthan, which is one of the oldest universities in the state. Jaipur city and roads has greenery in abundance. This oldest planned city of India, has kept apart, plenty of space for parks and greenery. The hotel was near Java Hasakal Garden, which is a circular park with a diameter of 452 meter. The park, surrounded by rose gardens, is one of Jaipur's popular leisure destinations. Soon after the overbridge, we entered the Malvzia Nagar Road. A bird's eye view from the bridge, exhibits the modern face of Jaipur. The building named World Trade Park, stands as a welcome sign to the area. After a quick freshen up, we moved to the airport. Now it's time to say a short goodbye to the royal city. Due to time constraints, I was not able to cover up Jaipur as planned, during my current visit. As the flight was taking off from the soil of Jaipur, I was silently planning my next visit to the pink city.